Right, guys, another helpful thing on the iPad or that the iPad has is Contacts. It's an app called Contacts. And this is where you can store in all the information uh, for all the people that you need to keep in touch with. So I'm going to show you how to add a contact today. So you might want to add both myself and Miss Thompson to your contacts list. This way you always know how to get in touch with us. So I'm going to go to the Contacts app, which on my iPad is in the top right-hand corner. It's got the little guy on it right here. It might be somewhere different on yours, but we're all looking for the same app. So now that I'm in contacts, I want to hit the little blue plus sign in the top. And I'm going to add a new contact. So I can type in here, type in Mr. Let's say Walker. And maybe even do E school. Teacher, so you remember. Who I am and what I do, and you can add in my phone number, which is 813-609-2446. I might go down a little bit. I can add an email, which would be sawalker at pasco.k12.fl.us. Okay. Those are probably all the main things you're going to want to add in there. So I'm going to hit my keyboard to go back. So I have my name, who I am, my phone number, and my email. I click done, and now I'm saved. Another good idea might be to add in Miss Thompson. So I'm going to go up here and I'll add in Miss Thompson. And she is the e school humanities. Teacher, and her phone number is 727 487 1497, and her email is Thompson at Pasco.k12.fl.us. Click done. Now you have both of our contact information stored in here, and you know how to add people now if you need to, and you can get in touch with us. Um, and I hope this helps get you more acquainted with your iPad. Thanks.